Ladies and gentlemen, Millennium Dance Sport Championships 2024. I'm here with three times United States National Professional International Latin Champions. Mouthful. <laughs> Guys, always glad to have you. And today, a couple of times I got to watch. Actually, I put my camera down and I watched. Uh, but the question is not about that. It's not about dancing, no, right? No, no. Uh, you know what? I, I found that you're very private. On Instagram, you don't really post much about how you train how you go to the gym, how you wake up, how you drink your latte, uh, stuff, stuff like this. Why is that? I, I, there, I <laughs> actually do not have a very uh, reasonable answer for this. I think because we are also in the limelight quite a bit whenever yeah. we are performing and we love to share what we do with everybody, but there's also a piece of a, the everyday that it stays for ourselves. However, that doesn't mean that it will stay this way. It might be just that little question that you asked and we know now people would be interested in actually seeing how our day goes. Are you interested in seeing how my day goes? Always. I think I mean, you have a big, <laughs> you have a not big, giant fan base. Michael Chapman is, is one of them. How many years are you actually here, guys? Oh, we've oh, been here since yes. we were amateurs. So, see, I mean, we've been here at least 10 years, at least. Yes. Yes, the Millennium was one of the first competitions that we came to yeah. before we even moved to the United States. And we have had so many experiences here the last two years. We performed yeah. showcases. We know each part of this hotel, and every the staff, corner, the we, staff, like, everybody is so loving. And it's just like one big family. So thank you for the entire s family of the Millennium for bringing us over here, making us feel so good. Michael always speaks highly of you. He actually personally always texted me, make sure you will talk to Trolls and uh, Trolls <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. So anyway, um, coming back a little bit to, to this, recently you started to teach quite a bit online. That's right. Do you like it? It's not recent, actually. I have done it since 2020. There okay. you go. Let's, <laughs> let's put it this way. You advertising it on Instagram <laughs> recently. You put it <laughs> so accurately, Dima. I cannot say anything that's true. So I have just made it a little bit more open to the public that I have done it, but I've been actually doing it since 2020 and wow. I absolutely love it. Um, it's a beautiful dance community yeah. of people who absolutely love to spend detailed time on their development and ask curious questions and they have formed a beautiful sense of dance family. Yeah. They travel together, they sometimes actually go on vacations together, so it's uh, very, very sweet to see how bonded they went because of this uh, oh. dance class. So I am continuing it full force and everybody is welcome to join because it's such a great experience for me. It has opened my spectrum for teaching and for connecting with people in a completely different level and I'm forever grateful for it. I was asking Troels if he helped you. He yes, he has been on a few of the classes actually and it's been really, really great help. But do you enjoy solo? Uh, I really li like the solo part because it is also most of them are solo at home who okay. take the classes. It started when we were all locked in without any availability to go anywhere. So we were all alone at home. So we just were alone together. That's <laughs> cool. Oh, okay. yeah. What is the weakest place you, you got to teach? Actually, kitchen? I like have, bathroom hotel uh, I think I, it was a hotel corridor and one time I had to do a uh, one square meter but then I just did a subject which was fitting that space which was how would you dance in a one square meter space so then we did an entire class on that and they loved it that's awesome <laughs> yes well, listen um, question to question to both of you so you travel quite a bit how do you recover the body what do you do because obviously you're training processes is, 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 not, is not public. So how do you recover actually? What do you do? I think the main thing is actually putting your body in a condition which can handle more. So it's actually to prepare the body to, to, for the travel. So be in as good shape, eat clean, prepare the body for travels. And then I actually feel it's more the mental part that needs recovery. Mm. Because otherwise it's like you can push your body a lot. It's actually when you get to a studio, the first thing we often do when we land after 16 hours is go to the studio and get the body going or go to the gym and get the body going. So I actually feel that it's more about conditioning it to handle it. And then after the trip to give the soul and give some love and thank the body for the work that it's done. 
Basically, the off season, if one can call it an off season, or let's say it a little bit more yeah, quieter. We do not have an off season, but the quieter season is where all of that stamina and surplus is built. So then later on, whenever a very busy schedule hits, the body is able to recuperate quicker. But we do take, for example, amino acid right after we come off the floor. It's one of the things that we really, really do. We hydrate very well. Sleep is a very high priority right now. Do you do saunas, massages, I don't know, meditation, goat yoga? Goat I don't yoga. know. I totally see you doing it like goat <laughs> yoga in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do have a very, very good therapist back in uh, New York City who aligns our body. So he works on body alignment and we have become body, quite connected. So it's a body therapist. It's a body therapist. therapist. We also have our uh, psychological therapist That's as well. That explains a lot, okay. Yeah, so we, we are very, it's been long, long time and this is something we believe yeah. that everybody should have because it's not if you have an issue, it's to actually unfold your full potential and that is why we wa always strive yeah. to seek their experience because they have a beautiful perspective on things. So, we only can learn. It's really to add, to have as many th th components on your on your plate to be able to play around with so sometimes you feel down sometimes you feel we're all humans we all feel these things yeah. Yeah. but it's really to have as many tools and components that can support whatever situation you're in and sometimes also the acceptance mm. of actually leaning into it and say what can i use the situation for and say okay i'm not feeling well i'm not feeling motivated i'm not feeling inspired sometimes it's actually good to say that because now you can actually take action about it and say no i should be inspired no i should be motivated and now you're just fooling yourself so sometimes to actually give it space, give it space yeah. and actually really accept it makes you grow up in, s in some way but also just to rest in it what is now mm -hmm. and once you then enter a different stage you, you, you approach that with a different attitude as well. And that's one thing that we have learned separately in our partnership, together in our partnership. Um, and it's just, it's a constant journey. Then you think you figured it out. <laughs> and then it's another and you're, 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 you're constantly battling back and forward. But that's the beauty of it to be actually able to, to ride that wave sometimes. It's and it's not easy. Yeah. It's not easy. It's life. And that's the, that's, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. It really is. Listen, guys, you thanks so much for sharing, actually. And uh, we, we should share some more on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we Please will do. share. Please we do. will share. Yes, I want to know everybody. what pumpkin spice latte do you drink in the morning. <laughs> I do want to know Black how much. Coffee, double espresso. That's okay. it. Yeah, I, think, <laughs> I think, to be to be honest, what you said about the, the sharing, like with, yeah. with Ina's class as well, I think that we are so focused about what we do. I, and, I we are, and we are, in some way, it's it's normal what we do to us. It's what we do every day. It's what we do. And we're just like uh, so into what we do. Yeah. So to suddenly where it's like we leave a place and it's like, oh, we forgot to take photos. We, we could yeah, have, but we, we didn't. Have. Yes. And then you're like, OK, yeah. so so. But it's something that, uh, yeah, it would be interesting also to know what people would like to hear about. Yes. Because Let we would know. love to share. We think I definitely think that by sharing and to give more especially these days you giving and sharing and do it from a place of love yeah. you get so much more back and you ride and you create that environment that you want to be in yourself so i think that for us as well to be able to share and for to to give some of that that we we do every day would be, be a great great task or a great challenge for us as well to yes do. i mean we love that we, we absolutely thoroughly enjoy it today just to be in that proximity with everybody and in one it felt so exciting it's so exhilarating so yes if you want to join the classes ina.dan slash masterclass you can actually <laughs> sign up and i'll see you there <laughs> guys this is awesome listen i missed you uh at the show Right, yeah, like I know, course. but you had your show of your own, especially during uh, uh, during the jive. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> I, I, I actually was watching that. I was like, hey, "Don't judge me." Is it bothering you when he does that? When he goes on his own to the audience? Uh, no, Bother is the wrong word. I'm so sorry. Don't kill me in the comment section. Okay. <laughs> it, it completely doesn't because I could see that it comes from a genuine place, and when it okay. comes from a genuine place and that place of connectivity, and he's super aware of the pickup of the music. Usually, when he comes back, he hits it. 
right on the bar. So okay. I'm like, okay, let's go from there on. I, I totally love it. It's a very important aspect of dance, which is entertainment and engaging people within. And this is something that sometimes is actually overlooked. But I think that living in the United States and putting that a bit more on a pedestal here has taught us how big of a value that actually has. It's our chance to connect to whoever is watching. So why not use that chance? I think it's a chance also to give people memories and be part of it. We yeah. dance around the world all the time, but for them to actually be part of it and for us to share those, that moment is, is what this is about. It's not just a competition. It's not just another cha-cha, another rumba. What can we do special here with the music, with each other, right. with the audience, with this place? And this is just what, what invited in that, in that moment. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's mm -hmm. memories, creating memories, creating through entertainment and through dance. That's what we do. You know what? My personal request, if you would do daily wisdom, from you guys, wisdom. daily yeah. wisdom, or like a gem of the day, gem of the day, or like after practice or before practice would be so great. Why yes. not? Maybe we should start that trend. And One then, gem and then of a book. the day, and then a book. Eventually, I, I a book. Yes. I'm sure, I'm sure <laughs> have a lot to say, guys. My pleasure. Thank you for coming. Uh, Michael says hi. Uh, this is Millennium Dance Dance Sport Championship 2024, guys. 24, pleasure, yeah. pleasure to have you. Always it's a pleasure, pleasure to talking here. to you. Thank you for. Congrats pleasure. to Michael again yes. for for an amazing event. It's it's. It's all. We, it's awesome to be back here, yeah. and and we we love it. We love it. Absolutely. So, thank you to Great all to watching, you. and thanks to you, man. Yeah. Thank you, you guys. Soon. Thank you. Bye.